Hello and welcome to BMC Video Solutions. In this video, we will be demonstrating how to enable SSL communication between the ControlM server and the ControlM agent. For this, we will use the ControlM server with its local agent and another standalone agent. We will show how to use default SSL connection between the ControlM server and the agent. Then we will show how to change the default SSL protocol SSL v3 to the non-default protocol, which is TLS1 underscore 2. Afterwards, we'll be showing how to choose an appropriate cipher by the protocol that we chose. And lastly, change the default ciphers to non-default ciphers on the server side and on the agent side. Here we have two tabs open. The left tab is the control room server and the right tab is the standalone agent. To enable SSL, we will run the CTM sys utility choose option number two and type n to go to next screen here we choose option number nine and change the value from disabled to enabled and save of course this will enable the ssl connection from the control server to all the control agents from tcp to ssl to verify the connection was established from the agent side we can run ag diagcom command and here we can see the connection is using SSL. Now we will go to the server side and run ctm diagcom. This can take some time. And here we see the SSL communication. If we need a specific agent to communicate with the server in non-SSL communication, we can change this by using the CTM menu utility. Here we choose option number 5 and 5 again. Parameter with specific agents. Type the agent name. Here I'm changing the local agent, not the standalone agent. In the next menu, we'll have option number 12, which is the SSL. We will be changing it from D, which is default, to N, which is no. And of course, save it. To verify the connection is not SSL, we'll go back to the menu and run AG Diagcom and CTM Diagcom. And here we can see both connections from both sides is back to TCP. So in the beginning, we showed how to enable um, SSL using CTM sys. If we want only to enable one, two, three uh, specific agents to use SSL, we can not enable the SSL via the CTM sys utility and only use the previous method by changing to SSL using the parameter for specific agent communication. So next we will show how to change the default protocol SSL v3 to TLS 1.2 for a specific agent. For that we will go to the agent and here we can um, cut the site PLC file which is in this directory under data SSL cert we have site PLC file. We will cut it and we'll see that now the current protocol being used is a SSL v3 okay and we will change it now to tls 1.2 so from ctm server side we'll run ctm menu option number five again five and choose a specific agent run with the we're going to do it with the standalone agent and change here option number 13 to as TLS one underscore two. Yes, and save it. Now we will go to the agent side and run again the command to cut, cut the site PLC file, and we will see that the protocol has changed to TLS one underscore two. 
Now we will show how to change the cipher to a non-default cipher. For example, if we want to use AES128-SHA256, we want to check which SSL protocol supports this cipher. To see that, we will need to run the command open SSL ciphers, and we can see at the bottom line AES128 can be used only with TLS 1.2. To make the actual change of the cipher, we need to, to copy the exact string of the cipher from this file. Then we will need to edit the site PLC file on the control M server side. By adding this cipher to the provider options, this means that the control M server has this option for communication with its agents. We added the cipher to the site PLC file. Here it is, it should be added in the client side and in the server side and a restart to the control M is needed afterwards. After restart was completed we will need to go to the agent side and if we want to force a specific cipher for a specific agent on the agent site PLC file we will this is the default value in the provider options after the cipher suit equal sign all this we will need to remove and leave only, add actually, only the new cipher. Here's the file after the change. Only the new cipher is left in the provider options and a restart to the agent is needed. And make sure connection is established from the agent side and from the server side. This means that the connection is now being done through the specific cipher that we chose. That concludes this Control M Solution video. Please see our knowledge base and YouTube channel for more videos.